welcome back to the channel guys this is a re-upload i got some information wrong in the last uh video so i'm rectifying that because i want to be able to bring you guys uh the right content and actually have facts in there as opposed to speculation so uh this is brought to my attention by one of my one of the subs so thank you very much for that let's get started where and when did they first appear and we're talking about the crest gt logos here um, so they originally came out with the C110 and C210 GTR. Um, they came in red or black or, sorry, red and white or black and white. Um, here's a picture of the red and white there. Basically, the, the cars got brought out in the 70s, so they have a very 70-ish feel to them, even the font. Um, so yeah, moving on. Most Skylines have, a, have the well-known GT badge emblem on their wings and fenders. This ended with the V35 Skyline, unfortunately. As with everything Skylines, they do follow a certain pattern up to a point. Um, and that's for another video regarding the R33 and R32 Skylines that had some different colored badges. Um, so in total, there are three different GT badges for the R34 Skyline um, that are actually missing uh, badges. So the first type um, which is the blue and white GT um, the blue and white look I've only ever had turbo skylines so I've never actually seen them in person but from what I understand um, they generally indicate that the car is naturally aspirated so non-turbo this has been the case since the R32 so um, in my younger years I knew a few guys that had R32s and they had blue badges I want to show you this quick video of a HR 34 Skyline um, and the reason why is because I don't think uh, many people have seen the HRs, um, they're more, uh, they more know the ER or the ENR or the BNR uh, 34s. So the, ER, the HR 34 sorry, is the base model of, of the Skyline. Um, it is very basic in terms of what you get, so you can see there the automatic transmission. Um, does not have Tiptronic, um, there's no buttons on the steering wheel to change gears and um, basically it has a smaller engine than every other uh, Skyline that was produced around the same time so this car actually has an RB20DE in there which is, um, which first I guess it's used in a variety of different vehicles but the most well known would probably be the R32 uh, it came in both a turbo and um, uh, naturally aspirated as an RB20. This is a Neo. You'll see there on the back it's got the GT badge. Um, no 25 here because it's just a 2 litre. So, a bit of a fact sheet was an RB20 naturally aspirated available in 4 speed auto, no Tiptronic uh, or manual mode. 5 speed manual was based model of, of the R34 and was offered in both coupe and sedan uh, form. So, where can you find these blue badges on R34s? Um, there's a bit of a list here. So, you've got the GT. The GTX non-turbo, 25 GT, 25 GTV. Uh, this came with red and white badges, but it was still an A. And the 25 GT4, which is the four-wheel drive model, the ENR. Um, type 2 red and white GT badge. So this was basically found on all turbo R34s, with the exception of the GTV, because that is naturally aspirated, but it still has quite a large number of um, turbo parts. So. List of turbo or red badge, red badge Skylines, 25 GTX Turbo, 25 GTT, 25 GTV, even though it's still naturally aspirated, it had turbo grease. So I've got both badges here side by side and you'll see that the pins are exactly the same on either side. So this basically means that they are interchangeable and compatible across the whole range. So whether that be a HR, ER or ENR 34, um, you can swap them around, which I'm sure a lot of people have. Uh, final badge. I don't know how many of you knew this existed, but I didn't up until recently. It's a silver and red GT badge. And as you probably guessed it, this is um, a GTR badge. So you can see here, it's it looks white, but they're actually silver. It's silver and, um, silver and red. And basically, they were exclusive to the GTR across all models. Um, so we know that you can do the HR, ER, ER, ER uh, badges. Can you fit a GTR, GT badge on the other 34 models? This is a bit of a tough one. Um, look, I love the look of the silver and red, but 
Um, I don't know if I'd go changing my badges on it, but it comes down to personal preference. So the pins are different from both left, from both right and left. Also, um, they have their own mounting points on the GTR, which basically means they can fit, yes, in short, but they will require modification um, in order for them to fit. You'll have to snip those tabs off or the, the locating pins off both, the, off both um, sides of those badges. But yeah, so look, blue and white is for non-turbo, red and white is for turbo with the exception of the GTV, and silver and red is for the GTR across all models. Um, I don't blame you for not knowing that the silver and red were GTR uh, colors with the badge, um, because I don't think many people have seen too many GTRs around the place. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this video helped and gave, gave you some um, information that you needed or that you wanted to find out. Um, and uh, take care.